So I'm here having something to eat. Actually, I'm having cereal. I mix Cheerios with um, cinnamon toast crunch. Not the sweet Cheerios, the whole grain one. And I warm the milk and drinking it. I'm here one, you know, just thinking about how God has been really good to, to us. I never ever stop to realize that we complain so much, so many times. God in his infinite love and mercy He's just always busy doing things for us and sometimes we are just busy complaining if we have to be honest with ourselves sometimes we tend to complain more than all we are grateful so so many things are going well for us so many things might have two things not going so right, and that's where our focus is. So, I just paused this morning to say, let's just be grateful. Grateful for what we do have. Shift your focus and watch God work. And why I'm saying this, a lot of times I'll talk and I'll talk based on my personal experience or things, you know. While I may not come out and put my business out there, like that, sometimes I, I just focus on what's not, what's not going right and, and it's not right. I mean, I remember having a series, one of our live stream that we talk about it and we say, shift your focus and I have proven it over and over. Whenever something is not going right for me and I, I think about it, sometimes it, you know, it gets me down. And the moment I shift my focus on something that's actually going right, it makes a ton, a ton load of difference. If we follow the principles of the Bible, we can never go wrong. I tell you day in, day out, that everything we need is in the Bible. Every single thing is in the Bible. The Bible said in everything we are to give thanks. Everything. It didn't say in the good times we are to give thanks. It said everything. So, if we can pause just like for a moment and just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I may not have a big breakfast, but at least I had some cereal. I may not have a big lunch, but at least I have some cereal. I may not have big dinner, but I have some cornmeal and I can make some porridge and I'm grateful. Little is much when God is in it. You work very hard. And you may not see a whole lot of money after you have spent. Paying the bills, buying the food. Ensuring you have enough to go back to work. Sometimes you don't even have enough and you say, Lord, how am I going to make it through the month? But guess what? You make it. You make it through the month. Some of us, when we started the year 2023, we were saying, am I really going to make it to the end? How am I going to survive on this salary? 
maybe one spouse is not working, maybe only one party in the family is working, and you're wondering, and you're, you're, you're just saying to yourself, I don't think I can make this. I don't think I can make this work. But today, unedited, I'm just going to post it as it is. I'm saying it as it is. Sometimes we become very much ungrateful. I'm telling you. So this little bit, you see, every situation we have in our lives, there is a, there's a lesson for us to learn. Sometimes some of it tough. Sometimes I eat tough too. May I tell you the truth? Sometimes I eat tough. And you get the test over, over. You ever get one test? Have you, you take the test all three times, I feel it? Hmm? Some of you go do a driving test. I want to feel it. I want to do. I want to go back, go study, and prepare for it, and do it. I want to go back again, I want to still feel it. But guess what? You go until you make it. I know somebody went for them driving test board. 15 times. Because them said they not pay no money. They might go drive until them pass it. And to me, you know, in the, the culture in Jamaica, is that sometimes you, you, sometimes it's not because you can't drive, you know, but because they want the money, they fail you. Sometimes you did nothing wrong, they fail you. And the same thing, sometimes you are going about your jolly good business and you did nothing wrong and things just come running at you. I remember a young man preaching in our church and he was saying, that boy, you're not going to trouble the devil because you don't want him to come trouble you. You're not going to trouble when not trouble you. Don't trouble me. If you're not trouble him, still I got trouble you. The fact that you are saying you want to be good and you want to do what the Lord wants you to do and all of that, he might go trouble you. Some of the things that hurts us the most, are the things that love dear to our heart. Sometimes some of us in lots of pain and challenges from places and people that you never expected it. But guess what? There is a reason for it. There is a reason for everything under the sun. Everything. A lot of time, many of us take the easy road out by just giving up. Anybody know me? Me not take the easy road out. No. 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 So I just decided that, you know, I'm going to make this video. I have my bonnet on. Still. And I decided I'm not going to take it off. Hmm? Leave everybody to their own uniqueness, their own style. Don't criticize people because sometimes the way people do their thing, you'll be surprised. Sometimes you don't know people's situation and you stay far and you criticize. I want to encourage us. I'm putting myself in it. Let's be grateful for what we do have. Shift your focus today. And thank God for what you actually have. Thank you for watching. And if you reach this far in the video, you can give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the content. And if you are new here, want to say welcome. And for my returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for always your support, your love, and your loyalty. Over here, we just try to pray for each other. We're all about the positivity. Right, we're all about fun and you know doing what God wants us to do, and I encourage you to do the same, make a difference. It's not too late. We are at the close of 2023, it's not too late to make a difference, make an impact. That's my charge to you today. God bless you.